What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. We are using the dream team in Foot Champs. We're using two teams. We've got uh, the second string team of course. Both teams are very, very nice. As you can see and as you'll remember from the last episode, we were 4-0 after four games. And uh, today's an interesting one. Um, a lot to talk about. I haven't got too many comments because I know I want to talk about what happened this weekend. And there are going to be spoilers in terms of results in today's video. Uh, so if you're not in, if you don't like spoilers, um, I'll, 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 put, I'll give a warning when I'm about to ruin the results so you can mute for 10 seconds or whatever. Um, but bottom line is, today, from today's videos, it's not really a spoiler because you're about to watch it, uh, I go to 9-1, and one, which is great, right? I'm really happy, both teams playing well, the game feels really good, really clean. I then get disconnected in game 11 in about the 85th minute, whilst in a tied game, it was 1-1, one, one, um, but I generally, I felt like I had the better of it. Now, I might have gone on and lost that game anyway, but I felt like I was, I was good to win that game. And, uh, you, you know, my feelings is irrelevant. My opponent probably felt like he was going to win too, right? But uh, bottom line is, I wasn't losing and I got a disconnect loss. And two things happened with that disconnect loss. Number one, it, it, it triggered me to a point where I lost interest in FIFA. Um, as crazy as that sounds, I wasn't angry. Uh, like, I literally tweeted out that I disconnected uh, from the servers. And Marshall, who I was talking to at the time, was like, damn, man, I didn't even hear you like, get mad or anything. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not. I'm, just, I'm so over it now. I'm so over it. And uh, what it did is it, it made me lose so much interest in playing in FIFA that I went on. And here is, here is a, a, a warning for the, uh, the spoilers. Um, I went on and, and lost the next three games in a row after that. And then two of the next four to the point where after 20 games I was 13 and 7. Um, so if you want to come back now, you're more than more than happy to come back and listen. So of, of that, a part of the reason why, and, and I never ever ever like to use um, like input delay and stuff as, a, as, a, as an excuse to lose, right? You never hear me complain about input delay, or very rarely. I think two times in, in my whole nearly 300 episodes of Road to Glory have I ever said, damn man, the input delay cost me here. But the game was smooth and clean up until 9 and 1. Got the DC loss and then it was just horrendous to play in. Couldn't do fake shots, couldn't do scoop turns. Like, I'd be running, I'd get clean throw on goal and be running down. I'd get at the angle for the low driven and I've pressed shoot. But the player, because of the input delay, the player takes two more steps forward and now he's not a good enough angle to shoot. So the keeper saves it or it goes wide or it hits a near post or an offender gets back to, to recover. And it basically absolutely screwed me completely to the point where it was unplayable. And a lot of people say, why, why, why did you keep playing? Why didn't you just stop playing? Why didn't you take a break? And my response to that is a response is what it will always be every single weekend that I play through the, the, the tough parts of the game. is because I don't have the luxury of having the time to take, you know, an hour break every game. Or I don't, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, why don't you just pick it back up tomorrow, being Saturday, being today. And uh, quite simply because I don't have the time for that. You know, the the if if that was the situation, um, I would uh, I would only ever get through about fifteen to twenty games a week, and that's just not enough. I want to get through all forty games, and to get through all forty games, sometimes because of how much time I put into recording, editing both channels, sometimes streaming, the fact that I have a family and have things to do in my personal life, you know, I don't have the time to be like, oh, let me just go and take two hours and wait for the gameplay to recover. Um, and, and again, as you guys know, I don't necessarily, I don't, I don't blame bad gameplay. I, in fact, I, I kind of quite a lot. I look at people that say talk about bad gameplay, and I think, is it bad gameplay, or are you just playing bad? You know, like, are you just coming up against, uh, you know, is, is the matchmaking not favouring you this weekend, and you're coming up against really difficult opponents for a change, and you know, things just not really going your way. Or is it bad gameplay? And, and this, like, I've, I've experienced input delay a couple of times, and I've experienced heavy gameplay a couple of times. But this weekend league, it was like just constant every single game, and it caused me so many issues. And coupled with the fact that I was in in a, I, like, I literally wasn't even getting mad, dudes. I went I went six nil down in the game in the next episode by the 25th minute. I've never been. To, I don't think I've ever lost a game by six goals in this game this year in FIFA. I think I've taken a few. I've conceded seven or eight goals a few times, mostly in draft. But usually when I'm all out attack, trying to get the goals to get back in, and I've usually scored three or four as well. But I can't remember a time where I lost 
by seven, six or seven goals without scoring two, three or four goals. Um, but the, 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 I think the, the, the bad gameplay, the, the genuine input delay and, and struggles and problems, coupled with uh, me just not caring, really just was a, a, a recipe for disaster. Um, it was a recipe for disaster. And I kept playing because I wanted to play with this team. I want, and in fact, I stopped playing with the second string team as well. Uh, I played with it a lot. I think I've got six games in foot champs with it, and no, maybe seven games with the the um, seven games with the second team and thirteen games with the main team. And the, the the first reason why I stopped playing with the second team was actually because one of the dudes got an injury. Uh, Marquinhos got injured, so I had to play the games to play through his injury with the other team. Um, and then I just kept playing with the other team because I was like, look, I've spent all this time in the game this year to build up this team. I do want to use second teams as well, but, you know, this team is, is amazing. Let me let me just experience it. And I, it was so hard to enjoy and to experience it because it, the gameplay was just so bad. Like I may as well have been playing with just a, a bog standard Premier League team, you know, with Gold Martial and Jamie Vardy and, and regular Raheem Sterling or Theo Walcott or something like that. You know, regular Kante, regular Matic because... And this is something that I see on Reddit all the time and something I see from top tier streamers and YouTubers all the time. And when I say top tier, I don't mean in terms of subs or views, I mean in terms of ability within the game. They they suggest that during the times where the gameplay is heavy or unresponsive or there's input delay, it makes no difference the players that you have. Um, so I'm not even able to really fully enjoy and experience this awesome team that we put together. Uh, it got to the stage as well this morning where I was, I've been watching Rocky play um, on Twitch. Obviously, the best player in the world right now. Um, and uh, he uses the 4-2-3-1. Now, I can get everyone on perfect chem in the 4 2 3, one with the exception of Hazard because I'd start him at striker, he'd get 7 chem. And I, started, I sat there and I thought, do I really want to change everything? Or do I want to learn this team like you know I, I'm, I'm i'm a firm believer that players that like players have like real individual performances and individual responses and how they work within the game and you know using kante for a thousand games and then putting nangolan in you you like nangolan doesn't play identical to kante so you're gonna have to learn his little quirks his ins and his outs and, and the way things work and don't work um so do i want to just as, as soon as it starts going wrong do i want to jump formation switch straight out and potentially make things worse and, and the truth is no but there has to be some reason right why the pros use the formations they do and then saying that I always go back to like Dr. Jarba. Dr. Jarba uses the 4-2-3-1 and he's very very effective with it so um, yeah I don't know man I don't know it's just this game it just I'm, I'm over it I am over it I, I was at the start of this weekend league I was like damn man I'm gonna go and get elite no problem at all I went 9-1 and one. I'm like holy moly I literally just need 20 wins from the last 30 games. You know, I needed two wins to a loss ratio, a 66% win ratio, that's it. And my average win rate in foot champs is around 75%. So I'm like, 66% should be easy. And then, then it all fell apart, didn't it? It just all fell apart. It was so sad. It was so sad. But it was, I wasn't angry. I wasn't raging. I wasn't irate. I wasn't getting upset that I was losing the games. I was just like, you know what? I've got this team. If I, I all I really want is the 24 wins to get elite one for the month. If I don't get elite three for the weekend, if I have one of the worst weekend leagues I'm ever going to have, so be it. That's how it's going to be. Um, so I just wanted to share that story with you guys, just so that you know when the time comes that I wasn't like raging inside, and I'm not trying to blame like you know my opponents. They were solid opponents. I played against a few really good dudes that beat me. You know, and I didn't lose every game because of input delay or, or button lag or whatever. And and I think this is something that um, I want people to be fully aware of from my perspective because sometimes my opinions, sometimes the things that I say do contradict each other, uh, but for good reason. For example. In a game that I lose, say, 4-0 and just get dominated in, it doesn't matter if there's button delay or not button delay, or if there's AI errors or non-AI errors, because those are the games that that person just outplayed me, he was just better than me, and even on a playing field where I had no, no issues, I would most likely have still lost that. And there are a few of them this weekend league. It's the games that usually uh, are just very close in stats, or sometimes when I have the better stats, or the games where it's very close in goals and it's decided by just one goal or so, those are the games where the input delay and the game heaviness and, and AI errors really, really come to be the biggest issue. Um, 
So, you know, I'm not trying to say like I would have won every game had there been no button delay uh, or input delay or lag or heaviness within the game. But I definitely am certain that at least three or four of the games that I lost, especially including the DC loss, would have been wins had I not ha experienced like this heavy gameplay. Um, but I've talked about it enough. I've talked about it 10 minutes. I didn't. I thought it was just going to be like a two minute, hey, this is some problems, let's go forwards. But yeah, 10 minutes of me talking about uh, me giving excuses basically. And, and I want you guys to know, it's, I'm... I'm not trying to say this to make excuses. I'm just trying to say it because I, I like to rationalize it for myself. I like to be like, hey, here's, here's why certain things went wrong. And, and the saddest thing, and one of the things that I read on Reddit today about a thread, in a thread where somebody's talking about why he stopped playing FIFA, is because in, in another game, in any other game, in League of Legends, if you get outplayed or if you make a mistake, you can see that mistake you can learn from that mistake and you can improve on that mistake. In FIFA, if somebody puts a through ball through and your AI defender auto lunges to give him a, a goal, you can't improve on that because you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't make a mistake. The AI made a mistake on your behalf. And like I said, in games where you're smashing someone 5-0 and in games where you're getting smashed 5-0, those mistakes are largely irrelevant because they don't change the general outcome of the game. But in close games where everything matters, they can be the difference. And then when you look at pros, that's where the close games are, right? At the top, top level. I'm not, I'm not saying that you have never been in a close game, but just generally speaking, over time, you'll get more close games at the top level, especially at tournaments and stuff and at events. Those are the dudes that suffer the most from it. Like when Shells didn't get 81, didn't win that extra 80 grand against Rocky because he pressed to clear the ball and the game just didn't clear the ball. You can't learn from that as a player. You can't grow from that mistake because it was the game's mistake, not your mistake. Um... So I'm not, look, I'm not like making excuses for my losses. You know, we've lost so many games this year in FIFA, more than I ever thought. I'd, I've lost more games than I thought I'd probably win this year in FIFA. You know what I mean? Like I've lost nearly 600 games. I never thought I'd win 600 games in FIFA. Um, but that's where we're at. Uh, I did have some other comments. Um, but because I've spoken for too long... Oh, the first thing I do want to address is Mocking Commenter says, Use Fernando team of the season in the fun team at CM. He gets full chem, puts proms on full chem as one of the best centre mids in the game. Take that on board, dude. I, I honestly, when I was looking for centre mids, I, I didn't even see him. Like, I didn't see it like it, when I went to like the Russian league special cards and stuff. I didn't see him there as an option. I don't know why he wasn't in concept players, but yeah, I'll definitely go and get him. I think he'll be a good addition to the team. And to everyone that suggested that, I appreciate the uh, the advice. Literally, just didn't see him there. And I think he'll be a, a good improvement to the team. Um, not that Guardado is bad because Guardado looks good, and I might use Guardado as a sub. Um, but most definitely, I will go and get uh, Fernando, who looks very good. But the other thing I wanted to talk about, just something I want to address whilst it's like on my mind and is like part of a, a lot of like the Road to Glory communities, the, the, the words, is from Gavin Edge. He says, Hey, Nick, massive fan, what do you think of Nick getting someone else to play his weekend league? Well, I, I think I made myself clear on Twitter. I don't think it's something that should be done. Um, you know, I, I understand the thought, <clears throat> the thought of what Nick was thinking, you know, I, I, under, like, I, 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 I think I came across as rude on Twitter as well, which was never my intention to, to Nick, I, was ne I never intended to seem like rude. When I said buddy in inverted commas, it wasn't because I was like sh taking a shot at him like that guy's not his friend or anything. My whole point with that was the fact that he's got a buddy that's a top 100 player that he's happy to share his games with. And he tried using reasoning behind, uh, like, sharing an account, for example, Spinbros. They shared an account. There's two buddies. And that's fine. Two players playing on an account that are, jet, like, friends that are just on the, the same place at the same time. Why not? You know, if I went to AA9 Skills house and I was like, hey, man, let me, throw it, let me, let me chuck down a couple of games with your team on, on Weekend League. Why not? If you've got, you know, if I've got one of my in real life friends that comes and stays with me for a weekend and he's like, yo, let me hit a few games. Why not? You know, it's not a big deal. But when you're, when you're asking someone who is a top 100 level player that's not your actual friend and you just know them through the social media industry, and, and that's, not, that's not for me to say whether he is Nick's actual friend or not, but I think, I think the guy that he was talking to and talking about was as much a friend to Nick as, as someone like Huge Gorilla is a friend to me. And so I don't think it's fair on the general public to say, oh, hey, I, you know, if you guys also want to, you know, in your road to glory, have people play games for you or with you on your weekend league accounts, go nuts. I'm going to do it too. Just so happens that my guy is a top 100 guy. I think that really takes away from the road to glory aspect and it doesn't make it 
a road to glory. Like the, the whole purpose of the road to glory is showing people what you can do when you put the time and effort into the game. And I think at the point where you ask somebody else to play 20%, 50%, 75% of your games, you're cheating your audience. And, and I don't think it's good for the series and I don't think it would be good for Nick and for his road to glory. It's, I understand why he would want to do it because it's like, hey man, if I'm not playing my games and someone's willing to play them, why the hell not? Who's it hurting? On top of the fact that I think that it's wrong to take rewards away from other people who are putting in the effort themselves, um, I just don't think it's good. And, and as I, I, you know, it's Nick's prerogative to do what he wants. It's, it's his account. Um, he's entitled, whether or not he's breaking terms of service is another story completely because the terms of service are just generally shoddy. If you don't know, it's against the terms of service to have two accounts or like this one person having two accounts. I don't know how they would ever monitor that, but I have like five accounts. So I'm breaking terms of service just by having multiple accounts on Xbox. I don't know how they'd enforce that because what you're essentially saying is two brothers in the same household on the same Xbox aren't allowed an account each because essentially that's two Ultimate oh, Team accounts on one Xbox. I just think that's a moronic term of service. So there are terms of service that I'm breaking There's and, and this would also be, uh, you know, against terms of service. But um, I just I just don't think it would be good. Uh, you know, and uh, like I said, it's Nick's prerogative. If he wants to do that, if that's how he wants to run his, his series in FIFA 18 and for the rest of FIFA 17, um, he's more than entitled to do that. It's, it's entirely up to him how he, how he entertains within a series. You know, like I saw a lot of people like getting on, his, getting on his back for it. And although I don't agree with it, like I say, YouTube and, and streaming and what we do in this industry is about entertaining. And if it would be more entertaining in his opinion for his viewers to have somebody else share the games with him on his account, then go nuts, you know, it, like the worst that can happen is that it fails and he has to do something different, you know, the best that can happen is that it might be a glaring success that everyone thoroughly enjoys. But for me personally, I don't think it's something that I would enjoy or I, like, I wouldn't feel good saying to people, hey, this is what I've got. This is what I've, you know, this is on my road to glory account knowing that somebody else half earned what I had on the account. That that would be my perspective from it. But as I say, if if, if Nick wants to do it, if that's if that's what his intentions are, and I, as I say, I understand why. He's a family man. He works a lot of hours and foot champs is stressful. You know what I mean? So like for me personally, I've had to sacrifice a lot of weekends with my family to play foot champs, to give content for you guys. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy it. It's, it's my job. I earn a living from it. I, you know, that's like a normal dad running a normal job going, oh man, can't believe I had to go to work today. I couldn't spend time with my family because I had to go to work. Like I get, I get that. Um, but yeah, bottom line is, like I, I personally don't agree with it. I don't think it would be fun. I think it would take away from what a road to glory is supposed to be. But I understand where Nick comes from, why he would want it, and I also understand the fact that it is his prerogative to do what he would like to do on his account. Um, I, the, 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 the biggest thing that I, I just didn't agree with was the fact that he was trying to push the narrative that he's just getting a friend to playing on his account. And it's not just a friend, it's a top 100 friend. Not everybody that can have a friend play on their account is a top 100 friend. And that I, I didn't see him asking another random in the chat, you know, oh, hey, you wanna play on my account one weekend and finish some of my games? Oh, but Nick, I only finished Silver 2. That's cool, you're a buddy of mine. If you, you know, just as many more wins as you get is, is helpful for the series. It wasn't a narrative where he was like, just happy to have a friend or someone that he knows play on his account. It was the narrative that it was a top 100 that kind of got a little bit, not under my skin, but was kind of like a little bit like, come on, man, you can't, you can't like sit there and say, oh, I'm just gonna have a buddy play on my account. And that's why I put inverted commas buddy. It wasn't to take a shot on Nick with that. It was, it was kind of like to, to show the fact that his, his buddy is a top 100 guy, not a, just a random person that also plays FIFA. Um, that, that, that was the only concern I had with it really, because, but again, if that's what Nick wants to do to make his series entertaining, in his opinion, he is more than entitled to do that. Um, but this, guys, is going to be where the video ends. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.